Yo, what is up guys? It is Small back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about a new feature that is going to be added to Epic 7 that is really going to benefit newer and even mid-game players and even late-game players actually. And I've actually talked about this topic in my last video that covered the patch preview slash livestream that Epic 7 had. But I wanted to make this video to kind of go more in depth about it because this is a very, very huge change. And I think it'll change the landscape of how a lot of early game and mid game players actually progress right out of the gate. Now that being said guys, before we get started with the video, if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we've been dropping bangers lately. There's a lot of new Epic 7 content coming out and I've been dropping videos on all of them covering it all. And also I've been live streaming recently. And if you guys want to check out my live stream where I play on my main account in some world arena and also on an alternative three star only free to play account and trying to progress as far as I can, then make sure you guys watch my live streams as well because we've been having a lot of fun times in my live stream. So that being said guys, let's get started. So yeah, just looking at your screen here, as I was you know explaining, um, you guys can see that there is a customizable group summon preview. Now just to sum, what it, sum this up, what it actually is, is after you beat episode 1 10-10, you'll basically be able to choose three banners. Now there are going to be some limitations in which banners you can choose, but I'll go over that in a second. But basically what you do is you can choose three banners, and how it works is you have three banners and then you can pull on all three at, at the same time, and you'll be getting coins for every summon. And basically instead of a pity, you're getting coins, and you can use the coins to buy the hero or the artifact. Now that being said, you can see on your screen here that there is Luna, right? There's SSB, Deanne, right? And Landy. So you will be able to choose limited units. And this makes it so that before you complete episode one, guys, you want to save a lot of your bookmarks because you want to be prepared to pull all three of these units because this is only going to be run for a certain amount of time. Um, you will only have access to these banners, I think, for two weeks after you complete episode one. Now, people are asking if this is only for new players or if you're a late game player, if you'll be able to get this feature as well. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure you'll be able to get this feature as well because when they did the um, selective summon um, for season two, actually, if you already beat it, you would get the selective summon anyways. So anyways, that being said, guys, let's talk about what units you should be pulling for. So if you can include all of the units, right? Um, actually, let's talk about the limitations first so we know what units we're able to pull. So if you look here, you'll see that you can get both limited and covenant heroes. So basically every RGB hero in the game that is not a collaboration unit because collaboration units most likely, and I'm like 100% sure on this, will not be able to be pulled. Also, you're going to have to pick units that are featured in within the past six months basically. So basically their banner has had to have run in the past half year. So that being said, if you are doing this in like May or even April, you probably will not be able to take SSB because SSB has ran more than six months ago, right? At that point. So yeah, you're going to have to keep these limitations in mind. But that being said, we're going to still talk about what units you should be pulling for. But let me just explain how this actually works. So you're going to get one coin, like I said, for each summon performed. You're basically pulling on one banner. There's just three units and three artifacts you can pull for. And every time you pull, you'll get one coin. Instead of a pity, you're just going to use those coins to buy heroes or artifacts or, you know, um, yeah, artifacts like I said. So that being said, what can you actually buy? So you can buy the artifacts unlimited, right? Heroes as well, unlimited. And artifacts, you can also buy with powder in the Powder of Knowledge shop, I assume, once per artifact. So this is really good for late game players because you'll be able to pull for, um, you know, maximum free copies on some specific limited artifacts. Also, you can... Uh, also pull for imprints but for newer players it's really nice because you have access to pretty much almost every single rgb hero in the game that's banner hasn't run you know in a long t um in a long time um if the banners aren't available because you know they are past the six month period you don't have to worry because they'll most likely run soon anyways so you don't have to really waste your selection on that unit so what do i recommend personally for the units well first off i'm going to recommend tamarin so tamarin as you guys probably already know, is the best Soul Weaver in the game for PvE. She is crazy strong. She is basically usable everywhere in PvE. So I really, really recommend selecting Tamarin. Now, if Tamarin's not selectable, it's okay. Um, you don't have to choose her. I'll probably make a tier list in the future for what units you should be choosing from this, but Tamarin is definitely the number one. Then after that, you're probably going to choose the next two um, to be limited heroes because both of these limited heroes are very good in PvE and PvP, and those two units will be Landy and Seaside Bologna. 
Landy and Seaside Pomona have so much usage in PvE everywhere, guys, and they're both very strong in PvP at the moment. Now, those are the three I'd probably recommend if you guys can pick them. Landy, SSB, and Tamarin. If those are not available for some reason, I think Luna is a very good option as well. Very good single target DPS for PvE, and you can use her in Expedition and Abyss later, and even some Raid. Um, other options that are very, very good would be like Vivian for your Banshee one-shot team if you don't have Vivian yet. Isaria is a very good option, right, for Azimuth 13, Raid, Abyss... Uh, expeditions as well and of course if you don't have cigarette guys i recommend cigarette because cigarette is a very very powerful wyvern unit and yeah you kind of need her for wyvern one shot and another really good option i'd like to mention is going to be sermia if you are in the late game because sermia is very strong for light expedition which is a new area of pv content very strong also in um golem and also very very strong in kades which is kind of a necessity now with how strong the sets are that being said guys yeah I think um, those units are very, very high priority for this group summon. Now there's also, you know, it really depends on where you're at in the game. If you're a late game player, obviously you can pull for select units for imprints or artifacts, right? But as a newer player, I recommend pulling solely for the unit first um, because yeah, the units are worth more than artifacts to newer players. So that's pretty much it with the custom customizable group summon preview. Let's talk about the next reason why you need to be saving your bookmarks. Um, so yeah, you want to save your bookmarks because like I said, if you want to pull every single hero, at the most, you're going to need 360 summons, which is going to be about, I don't know, like 2,000 bookmarks almost. So you really want to save your bookmarks, guys. All the banners right now are most likely just bait banners, so just keep that in mind. But we also have Guilty Gear collab coming back. And if you see below the, world, the word Guilty Gear in the, um, in the symbol, the icon, whatever, there is Strive. So Strive is the second game, which means that the Guilty Gear collab is being updated, which means there is a new unit coming out, right? So if you're new to the game, there's also um, a lot of reason to save your bookmarks because of the Guilty Gear collab, because Baikin is one of the best one-shotters in the game. Dizzy for um, for um, Banshee one-shot, yeah, she's the best one-shotter for Banshee one-shot in the game. And Dizzy is super, super strong for Abyss up to like floor 110. Um, she's just insane. If you're really struggling with Abyss, like Dizzy makes it so easy, guys. Elfelt is used in one shot for Kades, right, in, in uh, Asmac as well. She's also very good in PvP for Cleavers. And Soul is a free-to-play unit that is very good in basically Golem only. You can also use him as a regular like DPS in the early game. But yeah, all the units, even though Guilty Gear units have not been buffed or nerfed really, um, and they came out a long time ago, they're still pretty relevant in my opinion. Uh, so you really want to make sure you pull them. Also, we do have a new unit that's not released yet or you know, talked about yet from Guilty Gear that is going to be coming out. So even if you are in the late game and you've already pulled for these units, you're going to want to save for that new unit because, yeah, new collab units are generally really strong. So more reason to save your bookmarks. So yeah, make sure you guys save your bookmarks, guys. I think this customizable um, group summon is going to be crazy, crazy good for new players. I mean, it's okay for new players because even though you need a lot of bookmarks, you get a lot of bookmarks at the beginning of the game as long as you play a lot. So you should be fine on these banners. Um, but yeah, the collab is coming as well, so make sure you guys save for the collab. I think there's going to be a lot of good banners um, right now and in the near future because um, there's a lot of good banners coming out in the future as well because what I'm trying to say is the collab's coming out and the group summon's coming out, so Smiling is going to release some good banners right now to bait you guys, so don't fall for that bait. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you save those bookmarks, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.